it's me, GV, and welcome to a brand new edition of Fallout 4's Hidden Treasures. Ladies and gentlemen, this one should be a really good one. This is going to be Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates, which was suggested by Caitlin. Uh, there are so many left in Fallout 4 that we have not explored that are great, great, great locations. And this seems to be one of them. We're going to go ahead and move forward a little bit, and I'll show you guys exactly where Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates is located. Thank you, Caitlin, for suggesting this. There we go, Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates. I had my sniper rifle out. Uh, because I wanted to scope it out. Get it? Scope? Haha. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to press B and show you guys where this is. Here's Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates. If we scroll out and go up, there is Sanctuary and back down to Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates. So, this appears to be a bunch of trailers centered around a swimming pool. Now, my. Okay, this stopped. Oh, this guy's alive. Look at that. All right, that was easy. Yeah, well, we'll we'll take the deliver out here. You can see how good my sneak is because they have uh, no idea that I'm moving around here, and we will sort of just explore all of these little trailers one by one and see if we can find anything special. No, 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 no. <laughs> you get up when I tell you to get up. Uh, there's another one around us somewhere. Obviously, the enemy of choice for this particular location is going to be ghouls. I'm not sure where the other one was though now this is going to be hard to keep track of and also i want to take a look at each mailbox and we can tell if these ghouls are alive or not because our uh our reticle sort of hovers on them because of the aim assist now who sees me no you don't and there's another one over here these guys are not uniquely named right not currently no Ooh, we've got more who someone else in there ah a glowing one hello there sorry to wake you from your sleep don't worry it'll be all over very 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 soon three and then we'll give him a critical down you go big boy i don't know why i called you big boy i mean you're pretty much the same size as everybody else let's loot these guys just in case they have yeah they're mo they mostly seem to have uh exactly what i want bottle caps and ammo so that's pretty good let's head in here and see if we can find anything now just like with most of the locations in the commonwealth at least looking at you fallout or far harbor uh there's going to be always something interesting and of note in this place and a steamer trunk with a bunch of ammo is always nice to find we've also got a chemistry station and if this is a trailer park no doubt drugs were being made maybe that's a little stereotypical uh to say that about a trailer park but Trailer Park Boys is one of my favorite shows. I don't know if it's one of my favorite, but I've seen all of the episodes. And there's a lot of drug making going on in there. And that's in Canada, where everybody think it's where everybody thinks that it's a land of sunshine uh, and, and just positivity. Uh, but apparently, because of Trailer Park Boys, that, that has completely changed my notion. But anyways, we're going to keep circling the uh, outside area. And I don't know if anything I said just made sense. Probably not. Uh, we're going to circle this outside area and attempt to find anything of note. Also, we keep getting detected, and I'm not sure by what. So far, most of these trailers don't seem to have anything of too much importance. But like I said, no worries. We will definitely find some good stuff. Not sure who's detecting me. I know I just said that, but it's, it's a little baffling because I want them to die. I don't want to be detected. Can we open this door? Ooh, it's a master lock. No problem. Just need to find a little leeway. And... Come on. A little more to the right or a little more to the left? It's hard to tell. Looks like a little bit more to the left. Come on, buddy. It's just a matter of time. All right, inside. Ooh, okay, that looked like an enemy, but I think we all know what that is. We've got a full set of T-51B power armor and a fusion core, which I will take. The rest of the power armor not going to take, however. Most people are probably going to cringe at that, but I've got my fair share of power armor back in Sanctuary. Do not need that. What do we got here? A skeleton, obviously a soldier with a combat helmet on. It looks like nothing much. So there we go, right off the bat. We have a full suit of power armor, which, like I said, we will uh, bypass simply because I do not need it. We'll keep looking at the mailboxes. We've got another trailer over here. So far, nothing what I was looking for. Nope, 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 nope. Go back to sleep. I, well, hold on. If you could not teleport all over the place, that would be great. Now, how did, I, how did all your buddies get woken up? Uh, here we have a magazine, but we've also got some things to take care of first. Oh my god, the deliver the deliverer seems so shoddy with its bullets, I swear. Sometimes I feel like I'm accurate. Well, all the time I feel like I'm pretty accurate. But it feels like sometimes they don't connect. I wonder if that's me. 
it's probably me. It's it's usually me. All right, one singular bottle cap, sweet. And obviously over here we have live and love. You've collected an issue of live and love, permanently gain plus 25% XP from persuading women. Now that's pretty freaking uh, targeted. There's a better word for that that I can't think of right now. But uh, yeah, there we go. The secretary charmer. And in our inventory, you go. One step further towards my goal of getting all of the unique magazines. Well, they're all pretty much unique. Eh, not really, right? There's like burnt magazines and stuff. Uh, in the game. Anyways, we're going to go over into this little... I, we can break stealth now, considering we're killing all these guys in pretty much one hit. Corn and vodka in the chem cooler. Wonderful. All right. We have not been... I think we started off with... Uh, Okay, someone's alive. Bunch of guys in here. Down you go. That was a well-placed shot, if I do say so myself. No, 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 no. See, like, it feels like most of those shots hit. I don't know. All right, down they all go. Viable blood sample. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything with that. Anybody else? Combat music still playing. All right, which trailer did we start? We started with that one, I think, right? So we did not go in this one in the center here or any of them in the center and yes i'm still aware that we've got that pool area to look at yes this door is open all right in here we have a terminal and a stealth way which we'll take rolled boston bugle little toolbox that is locked let's see what's inside of it got it Duct tape and a paintbrush doesn't concern me. Let's take a look at this terminal and see what we have. Nothing. There's literally nothing on this terminal. Wow. Okay. Well, this is obviously cook, uh, hooked up to the fan, but doesn't look like we can do anything. Well, that's disappointing. All right. Let's keep moving. Uh, did we explore the... Yeah, we should have explored the inside ones. Um, it's hard to keep track of what we didn't. So that one and that one, I think. And then everything else we, uh, we explored. So let's go into this one right here, which is going to have the new squirrel tape 2. But where's tape one? Uh, I want to start with the first one. So let's keep a mental track that that's there. Actually, no, we can just grab... Ah, well, when we grab it, we can play. All right, let's go into this main pool area and see if we can find the other squirrel tapes. All right, or whatever this is, the pool house, you know. Okay, keep an eye out, guys. Look on the tables. Loot the bottle caps from the... Uh, from the uh, feral ghouls and also let's open the safes uh, once you get to the point where like you know you have an unbreakable lockpick it's better to obviously open the safe before you activate the terminal uh, we have fiddler's green trailer key which we've already opened with our master uh, lock bobby pin lessons leasing office terminal okay let's go ahead and pop this one favor uh, Lance, there we go. Safe control, oh, boring. Engage lock, yeah. So you get the experience for the terminal and the lock. That's what I meant to say. Okay, come on. I know there's got to be more than one squirrel tape, right? Right? Okay, so, oh. Something just moved over there. I don't, I'm not sure. All right, uh, let's see. Anything else in this room? No? All right, so let's explore the pool area. And, uh, see if we can find any more tapes. No? No more tapes? What was that? Just gave me some experience for I don't know what. Oh! Look at that! There's a glowing one down there. You alive? Does not appear so. Oh, and there's an expert lock safe down here. Okay, well, I'm glad I noticed that. That's something that's obviously easy missed. Easily missed. Okay, where are you? Come on. There you are. Just give way. It's gonna happen. Oh, that sounds a little bit weird. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 no. Yeah, stick packing right away. Sweet. All right. It moved it to the top. Okay, what else do we have down here? Another dead body, which we can't actually loot for some reason. It looks like that's it. So, metal crate here with a fusion core inside. Also, some plasma cartridges. Where's the other squirrel tape? All right, guys, I'm pretty sure there's another one, so I'm going to uh, pause here and take a look and try and find the other one, and I'll meet you guys in a second. All right, guys, so I also double-checked to see if we missed anything, and that is not the case. Uh, I missed completely this one, though. The new squirrel, tape one. Hello. My name is Storytime Simon. 
And I hope you like stories, because I love to tell stories. This one is called The New Squirrel. Come with me on this magical adventure. There once was a young squirrel named Ricky who lived in a big oak tree in a city park. Ricky was a brown squirrel and lived in the oak tree with all his brown squirrel friends and family. Every day, Ricky would look out from the top of his tree and wonder what kind of squirrels lived in other trees. The older squirrels warned Ricky that the squirrels in other trees were thieves and liars. They were never to be trusted. Ricky had a rebellious heart and would not form his opinions based on anecdotal evidence. End of hollow tape. Please insert hollow tape too. So they used the name Ricky, which by the way is one of the main characters in the trailer park boys. I wonder if that's a reference. Maybe. A boy can hope. Here we have the squirrel, the new squirrel tape too. Storytime Simon here. Welcome back. And here it is, part two of The New Squirrel. One night, a red squirrel appeared at the bottom of Ricky's oak tree and woke Ricky and his family. Oh, please help me, said the red squirrel. I am lost and have nowhere to go. The elders were quick to turn the red squirrel away, but Ricky scurried down the trunk of his tree and stood firm next to the red squirrel. He yelled up at the elder squirrels. How could you turn him away? Just because he's from another tree, he needs our help. Affected by Ricky's assuredness and determination, the elders agreed to take in the red squirrel. The red squirrel thanked Ricky for standing up for him. You won't regret this, he said. End of hollow tape. Please insert hollow tape three. Why do I have a feeling Ricky's gonna regret this? Storytime Simon here with the exciting conclusion to The New Squirrel. Tomorrow we can get to know each other and become best friends, said Ricky to the Red Squirrel. The Red Squirrel made a sound that Ricky took for agreement, and the two squirrels curled up to sleep. Later that night, Ricky woke up to the sound of leaves rustling in the oak tree. He looked around. The Red Squirrel was gone. Ricky surveyed the landscape below and saw a pack of glowing eyes approaching the base of his tree. Cats! Ricky heard a voice from a nearby tree. It was the red squirrel. I'm sorry, he said. They were following me and I couldn't bring them to my tree. They would have eaten my family. As the cats ascended the tree and began to devour Ricky's friends and family, Ricky reflected on his decisions. His last words were, I really wish I would have trusted my elders. The end. Not sure uh, if that's a applicable story to tell to children there, story time, Simon, but an interesting one nevertheless. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that completes Fiddler's Green Trailer Estates. Like I said, so many good nuggets of places to find. Uh, so many good nuggets. That's it, right? I don't need to say places of places to find. Anyways, you know what I mean. Uh, still left in the Commonwealth. If you guys would like to see me explore said nuggets, leave them below. Remember, they cannot be related to any specific uh, unique quests, because that is the point of Fallout 4's hidden treasures. Uh, thank you guys for watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.